What is up everybody, for you that don't know me, my name is Mr. Grow and you're watching my weekly Grow series. Pretty big update this week, we have a lot to go over including some plant problems, so let's just get right into it. First, let's talk about Carmelicious by MSNL GenX. This is an autoflower plant and unfortunately it encounters a stunting growth due to manganese deficiency. When growing cocoa core, manganese is best absorbed when the pH of the roots is in the 5.5 to 6.0 range. So far for this entire grow, I've had it in a 6.1 to 6.4 range, so that's why I'm thinking this plant became deficient in manganese. Since I adjusted the pH to the correct range a few days ago, it has recovered nicely. Another problem this plant has is the edges of the leaves are turning brown. This looks to me like windburn, but I could be wrong. What do you guys think? This 8 inch fan certainly moves a ton of air so I'll have to adjust it to make sure it's not harming the plant anymore. Since this is an autoflower plant we should see signs of sex pretty soon here since this plant is on day 31 now. I do plan to do some low stress training. The plant is now on its fifth node and this is when I found is a good time to start LST. So I'll start by just pinning the plant down in one location and as the plant grows I'll continue to pin it down in different locations in order to try to achieve an even canopy. Next up is Chernobyl by TGA Genetics. This one did appear to have a stunt growth as well, but I'm not too sure why since I'm not seeing any indication of problems on the leaves. I've kept the pH on this one between 6.0 and 6.4, so maybe that was a contributing factor seeing how the Carmelicious wasn't too happy in that pH range. But this brings up my question for you all this week. When growing in Cocoa Core, what pH range do you keep your plants in? I've heard some people that like to drift their pH throughout the grow, so it's in between 5.5 and 6.5. But I've also heard about people keeping the pH closely around 5.8 for the entire grow. So what do you do? Also, since growing in Cocoa Core is different than growing in soil, what overall tips do you have for growing in Cocoa Core? Let me know in the comment section below. For nutrients, I'm using Blue Planet nutrients for both the Chernobyl plant as well as the Carmelicious plant. For the next plant, Sage and Sour, I'm using Bloom Yellow Bottles Organic Nutrients. I'm really happy with how this plant is looking so far. I've been a little bit concerned about how heavy the feeding is according to the feeding chart, although this plant is taking it just fine. For example, the PPM that I've been feeding the plant has been between 1300 and 1600 since day 13. It's a little bit higher than what I'm used to feeding kidneys plants, although I'm not seeing any burning on the tips and overall growth has been great, so I'm just going to run with it. One thing that I'm keeping a close eye on is for signs of nitrogen toxicity. When feeding a plant high PPMs like I have been, the plant could have too much food in the medium and it may experience a nutrient lockout. A plant that is toxic in nitrogen will have really dark green leaves. Also the tips of the leaves may curl down, which is often referred to as clawing. So I'll keep an eye out for those things. I also topped the plant the other day. I do plan to top this plant a few more times in order to get about 8 or 16 shoots before flipping this plant into flower. One last thing to talk about is this leaf right here. This is looking like TMV, which is tobacco mosaic virus. This showed up on one of my plants last grow and back then I wasn't sure what it was. A few viewers actually commented and informed me that it was potentially TMV. From what I read about TMV, it's a virus that could spread to other plants. There is no cure for TMV, but the plant should grow just fine since the virus isn't fatal. Now onto the plants that are being grown in soil. This is Super Sweet Tooth by MSNL Genetics and it's looking gorgeous on day 17. I'll be topping this plant soon. It's also looking like it'll need a transplant soon. It's in a number one pot right now and the next container it'll go into is a three gallon pot. I'll be feeding this plant Bloom Yellow Bottles nutrients as well but I haven't fed it anything yet since this is in Fox Farm Ocean Forest soil and it comes pre-charged with nutrients. I expect to give this plant its first feeding around day 30. The last plant is the mutant plant, Snake Venom by Moxie Seeds. This one is actually looking better than it has been. I transplanted it from a solo cup to a number one pot and it's starting to take off. So I was originally going to toss this plant since it was grown out pretty funky. 
but many people left comments in the last video suggesting that I grow it out. Apparently several viewers have experienced the same type of mutant plant before and mentioned that it grows just fine for them. So I'll keep this one growing and see what happens. But it looks like this one has TMV as well. Maybe it was spread from the other plant, I'm not sure. I pruned it a little to try to get it to refocus its energy and we'll see what happens from here. Channel shout out this week is going to Grow Tacoma. He's been showing me some love recently by watching and commenting on my videos so I figured I'd show him some love back by giving him the shout out. He's got some beautiful plants growing and he produces some quality videos. He's just shy of hitting a thousand subscribers so go over to his channel, hit that subscribe button and comment on one of his videos and let him know that Mr. Grow had sent you. If you're new to growing cannabis, I wrote a book called 7 Steps to Grow Cannabis which will give you all the information you need to get you through your first few grows. I will provide a link to the book in the description section below or you can get to it by going to my website mrgrowit.com. That's pretty much it for this video guys. If you enjoyed it please click that thumbs up button and I will leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, peace.